We're looking at an explanation of cache control headers using Matilda as an example application. So if we put Matilda into security level zero, and then look at the HTTP headers that are returned when we make a page request, we can see how it works in its default state. So we have Burp Suite set up. We're going to turn on an interception proxy to catch the request and the responses from the server outside of the browser. So we'll go ahead and toggle security all the way back around to zero. Then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn on the interception and burp suite and refresh the page with F5. So Here's the request being made from our browser, forward that onto the server, and then here's the server's response. So we can see that the server header is sent back and the axe powered by header is sent back. These in and of themselves are not that big a deal, but the problem is, is that bots on the internet can look for these types of headers being returned to decide if they would like to look at a site a little closer so it's a good idea to change those to something innocuous or to suppress the headers and there are no cache control headers change the security level in Matilda Day to level 5 which is currently the maximum security level Then we'll turn the interception back on, refresh the page. Here's our get request, the same one as we saw before. We'll forward that. And here's the server response, but we're in security level five. So now we have the cache control header is present along with the pragma no cache. Additionally, there's some other headers like X frame options deny and the X powered by header is gone. So the cache control header is an HTTP 1.1 header and with the values of no store and no cache, it instructs browsers, intervening proxies, and other computers that are along the path that they should not cache the information that's being sent from the server back to the browser. This can be important in the cases where the information is sensitive and when the user gets up and walks away from the computer we don't want the information left behind. It certainly isn't a panacea since it's up to the browser or other device that read the information from the server to actually obey the cache control, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. The Pragma header is for older HTTP 1.0 clients. In the HTTP 1.0, the cache control header hadn't been implemented yet, and Pragma no cache was one way to encourage browsers to not cache the material. It was primarily implemented in Internet Explorer. So looking at the way that Matilda actually behaves in security level five, it sets the expires header, the last modified header, to the current date, and then it sets the cache control along with the values of no store, no cache, must revalidate, post check, pre check, and no cache set cookie. The no cache set cookie discourages devices from writing down the value of the cookie. And then here we have the Pragma no cache for the HTTP 1.0 clients. So that's a closer look at the cache control and Pragma no cache headers using Matilda.